Today, we will be creating something like this. Whoa! This will be pretty easy, and you'll be able to replicate it and customize it however you want. I like doing these like pretty quick, so about 15 to 20 frames. We'll do 20 frames for this one. So shift left arrow twice, cut, shift right arrow twice, cut. Okay, so these work on nested sequences. So we're going to select those, and we are going to nest the sequences. You can name it. So now comes the fun part. You know, effects, wave warp, whoa. Drag that on. Whoa, it gets all crazy. Okay, now we're going to go to effect controls. Click on this bad boy. We're going to change this to noise. We're going to change the pinning to all edges. That will get rid of the black. If you push it too far, the black will come back, so just be careful of that. And now we're going to create two different glitches. We're going to create a vertical glitch and a horizontal glitch. So I'm going to increase the wave width is something like 4,000. Wave height to maybe to where the black starts. So that's about uh, 270. Uh, I'm gonna turn the, the wave speed up to about nine. So that's what it looks like right now. That kind of looks like garbage, right? But we start adding some keyframe animations. We'll go about here, add a keyframe on the height, the wave width. We'll go back to the beginning, set it to zero. And we want to animate this out, so we'll copy those keyframes and we'll paste them. So it's kind of like that, really quickly, really quick little animation. Okay, so that's the start of it. You might even make these like a little tighter. Okay, I'm gonna copy those, go over a little bit, paste those in somewhere over there. So we got two of them. Boop, 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 boop. I may even make this one just a little wider, just to give it a little bit more variation. If you like the black, it's really not that big a deal. It's up to you. Um, I don't love it, so I'm going to take it and keep it out. Okay, so we got those two first. And now we are going to do some horizontal glitches. So go to the cut. Right there. We're going to copy this wave warp. And we are going to make this 180 to make the glitches horizontal. Now mess around with these keyframes a bit, you know, maybe make these ones closer together. Go over here, maybe spread this one apart. Just, just have fun with this. And duplicate E. You want zero value here. You always want zero values in front and after your glitch values. So let's make this one kind of thin something like that, and we'll spread it out a bit to hide the cut. And let's watch that. Okay, now comes the color, because when glitching happens, it tends to, you know, affect the color a little bit. Video effects, color correction, color balance, HLS, and we will keyframe the hue. The lightness and the saturation. Probably go somewhere in the middle. They make this. I kind of like when green shows up. That looks kind of good. Go over there. Make sure this goes back to zero. And you put it at the end. Okay. That's interesting. Maybe we'll increase the lightness here. Go back to zero. We make one more flash, 30, maybe a little less bright, and go back to zero. And then maybe we'll mess with the saturation, bump it way up, something nuts. 
bring it back down, way up again, and finish bring it back to zero. Okay, let's see what that looks like. And there you have it. I mean, you can keep futzing with this, and when you're done, you click on your nested sequence. Highlight all these, control click them, and then save as preset, and you can name it whatever you want, glitch, click scale, and then whenever you have a transition, 10 frames, 30 frames, whatever it is, cut it, nest the sequences, and just apply the glitch, and you're good to go. That was 11 minutes? Oh, okay.